Hey guys. Hello. Um, what, what do we got here? Well, I've been working on improving something for a while here. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of important to me. You guys have been following along as we sort of cook up a solution to the problem of how do you do a preamp for a high impedance input mm -hmm. and here's a JFET uh, preamp that we built a little while ago right. that does exactly that and the JFET runs off of this common collector circuit which is uh, shown here you've got the input coming in on the uh, uh, the gate uh, and the output is coming out on the source and the source is connected down uh, to uh, the ground rail okay but uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, JFETs I think we only have one we only had one well, but I have do have tons. a ton of these uh, NPN transistors so um I wanted to come up with a way to build something that is just as good but using these and we have used these in the past we use them on our cascade preamp here it's got two uh, 2N3904 gain stages okay yep and that is working very very well for low impedance stuff and what does what does low impedance stuff um, consist of? Uh, dynamic microphones, ribbon microphones, that sort of thing. Okay. Something that doesn't have much resistance to the uh, preamp circuit. Okay. But uh, our cigar box guitars and our uh, harmonica type microphones ha are high impedance. Yep. And we do want to be able to record those with our own preamps. So that's why I designed uh, this JFET preamp, and I was working on a new version of it that was based around the three uh, the 3904 and I cooked this one up uh, earlier in the week and it basically has a uh, two stages again but one of the stages is um, arranged slightly differently so that it uh, uses a different uh, commonality and uh, has a very high input impedance the main problem with this after uh, Brainwagon uh, helped us analyze it was that we noticed that there was a negative 16 decibels of gain after the first stage. It did do the job of converting it from a high impedance input to a low impedance output, which is perfect for the next stage, but unfortunately that drops volume. Mm -hmm. And that's really not in line with our goals. So we wanted to try to maintain as much volume. We want to amplify was, it as much as we can, yeah. yeah and this one was dropping. So this so. one I built live on the live stream. Yep. And it works very well, but like we said, it's uh, quieter than we would like. Because we're trying to get up to line level. So uh, thus happened this uh, example here. And this one is different. I don't know if you can see in there, but it has three stages. Mm -hmm. Now, the second two stages are the same exact thing that we've been using for our low impedance mics. Okay. The uh, Cascade preamp. Yep. And it uses the same transistors. Now, what I added here is a uh, first stage that does not have any gain on the voltage. It only has gain on the current, and it's set up slightly differently. It is a common emitter style, and it's actually set up as a voltage follower. So whatever the voltage coming in across the uh, DC blocking capacitor on the front end, mm -hmm. the exact same voltage is followed on the um, emitter of this, and that is a low impedance. So the input is extremely high impedance. We're talking about like infinite. Mm -hmm. And the output is uh, extremely low resistance, extremely low impedance. Okay. 
So this does the job very, very well, and Addie has been talking through it mm -hmm. for this whole video. So if you liked the sound of that, let us know in comments. Testing one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Um, I'm going to be using this to build a very um, full-featured preamplifier for guitar with effects and filters and whatnot. And cool. uh, we'll, we'll be back to this project before too long. Thanks okay. for watching. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.